some uh, more of my orc lot I picked up. These are some squig catapults. There's three completely intact ones with crew. And this one is missing a few parts. So I'm going to see if I can't get the right stuff to put it together. Finish that one off. And a couple more mega knobs to add to the collection. Um, just your basic knob and power ar or uh, mega armor. I think this one has a combi scorcher. Looks like that one has a, a twin linked shooter. They keep changing the names and what the weapons are. So and a couple more pulsar rockets to add to my collection. Um, this one's missing the thruster part on the bottom. I think I'm off of the launcher here. But, uh, didn't come with crew with these, but, uh, I have so many other grots laying around that finding Gretchen Crewman is not going to be a problem. One of my personal all-time, uh, favorite models. It's the, uh, mech boy carrying the shock attack gun. The old second edition one. He was missing an arm, so I had to make do with the parts that I could find. But, uh, really cool looking guy, and I love the gun. It's a classic Weird Boy model with his two minders carrying him. These were the York Psychers. I know they still exist. I think they have some different models now for them, but, uh, these guys were great. There was another one with with the weird boy here laying down across the two and they were aiming him like a gun. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad to actually have a real weird boy because I've never actually had the model for it. I made one myself, which I showed in a different video, but I think to have a real one now. Next up, we have, uh, Orc Commandos. There was a squad of four of them. There may be a fifth one somewhere. Um, again, the old pewter models. Not a big fan of the the metal, hard to customize, a pain to glue, but uh, a lot of the older figures are, and that's what most of the set was with older stuff. And I'm a big fan of the older looking poses and, and models, so you got to deal with what you have to deal with. There's a drill boss, and of course the rest of his squad. It's the original. Metal kit for the old Storm Boys. Um, I changed out the arms. Some of them were missing arms, so they they got close combat weapons from the uh, newer Orc Spruces, which I think look fine on there once they're painted up. But I uh, always wanted to have real Storm Boys. I have some proxy ones with jetpacks that I made myself, but always better to have the real thing. Still waiting on some bases for the rest of these, but there was enough bits to make uh well probably about 15 or 20 of these boys i used them for various things but i made uh 10 of them into shooter boys like i said i'm waiting on some bases i ran out i had to go get some more um but yeah i needed more shooter boys a lot of my boys were just made by default into slugger boys and i wanted to have some more shooters laying around i did take some of them and i had a while back I had bought a Luda kit and I did a video on those, the Ludas. Um, well, the Luda kit also comes with burners. You can make them into either. So I turned, took the four burners I had and built four burner boys. Because I always wanted to have a squad of them, but I didn't. If I buy a box set, I'm going to build more Ludas because I like my Ludas. So this way I get both. And I save some extras of the basic parts so I can build some more burners for the next time I buy a box. Any of you who've seen my other videos know I love my grots. Uh, it's always nice to get some new poses. These ones here were uh, Rebel Grots from Gorkamarka. I got some regular grots with auto guns. Different poses. Um, these here, I'm not sure what that one is. He's some kind of assistant. There's a half painted one in here somewhere. Um, that's a mech boy assistant. He's carrying a bunch of tools and a screwdriver. Yeah, there's one of those guys half painted. I'm not sure what he was. Maybe a pain boy's assistant. He's got a bunch of pouches on. And he's, it's hard to tell, but he's actually carrying like a little squig squeezed in his hand. Um, got some runther, or, uh, runthers, yeah, runts. A little too close, there we go. Uh, there's a bunch of different runts here. Need a couple bases for those guys. And a tiny squig. 
either going to put him on the base to a war boss or maybe on a vehicle just as a, a little extra bit. And there's another uh, mech boy assistant. I believe he actually he went with the um, Scorcher. Now these are some interesting ones. Again, this one's missing a base. But uh, I have a couple more that are painted, which I'll show later. But uh, these are Gorka Morka figures. They're actually called Orc Youths. And they're just what they sound like. They're like teenage orcs. This guy's got a pair of pistols. This guy has a pistol and a sword. And, uh, yeah, they're a little bit smaller than your normal orcs. Uh, together, they kind of just, they fit in just fine. They are, if I can find a regular orc here. Yeah, size and bulk-wise, they are just a hair bit smaller. But they fit in. Who says every work has to be about the same body size anyway? Okay, here's a Brunthard. Um, just a basic model. Nothing special about him. Um, there were these three, too, that came with the catapult kits. And they're also Brunthards to keep the uh, catapult crews in line. But even according to the old codex, they aren't required, so... I'm probably going to use them as just regular run thirds. I got three of them that came with the catapults. And these guys here are uh, heavy armor. Orcs in heavy armor. I'm not even sure if that's still around now. It was the, the intermediate armor. Not quite mega armor. It was more like power armor that the Space Marines wore. He's got a built in plasma gun there. Not sure what he has. Hard to tell. Um. But yeah, they had all kinds of wiring and extra bits added on. Those were um, the original ones from... Or no, these ones are 2nd edition, my bad. These are 2nd edition Heavy Boys. To compare, these painted ones over here, which were also included in this deal, these are Rogue Trader edition ones. With the bolter there. He's got a little claw type thing there. And then this guy has... Some sort of bolt air weapon and a power fist. But, uh, yeah, so heavy boys. Not something I use that much, but now that I have some models, I may throw them in an army just to have fun with them. This is probably one of the figures in Warhammer 40k that I never owned for my orcs. Um, they're boar boys. And, um, this one's just a standard boar. They came with a pewter and a plastic head. So that you can pick one or the other. I just like the looks of the metal one better. Um, this one here. He actually has the cyborg head. Not sure if you can tell. But it's got the extra armor plating. But it isn't a cyborg because he doesn't have the wheel in the back. So. That's eh, interesting unit. Don't know if I'll ever use them. But they're nice to have in my collection. There's a bunch of heavy weapon guys throughout the, the different ages of 40k. These are the, the newer style rocket launcher boys. There's two of those. These are the newer style uh, big shooter boys. There's two of those. These are um, second edition, I believe. Heavy stubbers. Interesting design on those. And this was either... Rogue Trader, a second edition. It's either a heavy stubba or a custom combi -o weapon. Um, he needs to be remodeled a little. He's not actually holding the gun. It's just kind of sitting there. But, uh, and I have a real, this is the actual custom combi weapon. Three barrels. More shooty. And... Then we have the old Rogue Trader Era last cannon. Always fun. And of course this guy is another Enigma figure, I believe. But it's a orc with a last cannon. Always nice since the orcs loot all their stuff. He's got a little beret on even. They steal technology from wherever they come across, so... I mean, why wouldn't an arc have a weird-looking last cannon? Who knows who they stole it from? 
And there was a few painted guys. Uh, this is a unit. I think there's 15 here of orcs. All with pistol and axe. Most of them are these, which were the old 2nd edition box set model. And uh, they've all been customized in some way, shape, or form so that everyone is slightly different. Some have different weapons, some have different double headed axe. Um, that guy has a sword. You know, the horns are different on them. Some things different on everyone, just to make them a little unique. Um, they're led by Knob with a Power Fist. And a mildly decent paint job. I don't know how well it comes through. Camera's not really set up for that right now, but... Again, I'll probably leave them just because I despise painting. And who says an orc army has to have matching uniforms anyway? It would make more sense for them each unit to be different, so... Heck, individual orcs within a unit should be different as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I'm not sure what the guy who owned these last was going for with these ones. Um, I believe those are freebooters. It's been a long time. But uh, these guys all have pretty much a matching paint scheme. That guy's holding a severed skull. Uh, this is a squad of five shooter boys that were in there. Um, just some interesting poses. Half painted. There's a few uh, various random guys thrown in here. I don't remember if they're special characters or not. I don't think so. But uh, there was this guy here. This guy, which looks like a fantasy uh, orc that's been modified. Um, I would say Ebby Armor, maybe a knob just because of the size of him. But, uh, yeah, if you stick them next to a regular orc here, I guess they are about the same size. Just the armor makes him look bigger. Um, anyway, there's this guy here, carrying a bolt pistol and a plasma pistol. And, of course, the original Gaskell Thraka model, before he got mega armor. Um, obviously the Mega Armor one's cooler looking, but this guy's a classic here. And of course he comes with his little sidekick who doesn't exist anymore. Makari, he was a, uh, known in second edition as the luckiest Gretchen alive. He, he carries Graskull standard and he was basically invincible. He had a 2 plus save against anything. And it was unmodifiable. So eventually I guess he failed his save because he, the little guy doesn't exist anymore. And there's a couple more. I mentioned I was going to show them. These are those orc youths. Actually painted it up here. There's two of them. Pretty cool looking. Like I said, they're they're slightly smaller than the regular orcs. It's neat just to have have them thrown in the middle of a unit where they add some uh, uniqueness to it.